Hello everyone and welcome inside the CIF. I'm your host Richard Tiemann and this is your Game of the Week preview for week number 13. My how close we are yet still so many possibilities as far as the postseason goes. All six teams were in action and will continue to be in action for the remainder of the 2021 CIF season. Just two more weeks left and there's still a lot on the line for several teams. This last week, week 12 though, did not disappoint in any way. Let's go ahead and recap that before we get into our big preview for week number 13. First up, we had the Dodge City Law taking on the Wichita Force in their third and final matchup of the regular season. The Dodge City Law winning the previous two matchups. But this time it would be Ed Crouch and his mobile ability and the Wichita Force never quitting that would finally get one over the Law putting it 2-1 to one now, but still at a most important time of the year. Final score there, 39-33 in favor of the Wichita Force. Man, what a game that turned out to be. Congratulations to both teams for a slobber knocker. The next one was the Wyoming Mustangs making the trip to Sioux City to take home the Bandits. Not quite as close as we had hoped. Final score there. 20 to 60 in favor of the Bandits. They get another one in the win column, and they definitely needed that one. But Wyoming still not out of the picture just yet, and we will talk more about them in a little bit. And finally, the weekend capped off with our game of the week, and that was the Salina Liberty taking on the Omaha Beef. Man, if you missed this one, you missed possibly the game of the year. The previously undefeated Salina Liberty fell to the Omaha Bee final score 39-35, a real back-and-forth matchup, and the Beef managed to mount a comeback in the fourth quarter, holding Salina scoreless. How crazy is that? So the Beef now solely in second place. Salina still sitting at the top with just one loss. The third and fourth seed remain to be seen as far as who will claim those, but Omaha could still slip out of the number two, and that will be a game to watch this weekend when they host the Dodge City Law, still fighting for their postseason lives. But our game of the week for week 13 is the Wyoming Mustangs visiting the Wichita Force. These teams both need a win, and they need it badly. So who will come out on top and still be in the postseason picture? Today, I welcome wide receiver Rocket Rashad Ridley of the Wyoming Mustangs and captain comeback himself, quarterback Ed Crouch of the Wichita Force. So let's go ahead and preview the Week 13 Game of the Week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up, representing the away team. He's a man that you've probably seen on the top 10 a couple of times the last few weeks. He's a wide receiver for the Wyoming Mustangs and a phenomenal kick returner. Give it up for Rashad the Rocket Ridley. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing great, man. A uh, pleasure to talk to you guys like this, uh, especially throughout the season. And you've really had some great performances over the last couple of weeks. I, I mean, talk to me a little bit about uh, these last few games for you and what's really come together for you specifically. I just feel like I'm starting to get comfortable, you know, really starting to, you know, find my niche, you know, really starting to, you know, put things together, learn from my mistakes from the past. And, uh, Things are just, just just starting to come together. It's just starting to gel. Yeah, good timing, too. Um, you guys are just a game behind Wichita and Dodge City. Now, you play Wichita, and Dodge City will go on the road to play Omaha. And, of course, there's a lot of, well, if this happens or if this happens. But, really, it's about you know you guys taking care of your end of things, which is getting a W this weekend and then kind of letting the rest fall as it were or fate deciding what it is that's going to be the rest of your guys' season. But, you know, for an expansion team, you've been one of those teams that not many teams have looked forward to uh, playing, whether it's the long road trip or just that, you know, when you guys uh, are good, you guys are very, very good. How have you felt about your season overall? We had a few mishaps, but like you're saying, the talent, the talent's here, you know, us being a new expansion team, it's a little difficult, you know, some players we have, haven't played the indoor game yet but when we all get on the same page though uh I feel like we're very hard to beat we just kind of got to find that happy medium of the, you know the mental mistakes you know you know shut those down and really come together and really just make plays that's all the game comes down to it just make plays and we have the players to do it 
Oh, yeah, you talk about, you know, the ability to make plays, and you've done uh, a couple of great kick returns. Not each one has been for a touchdown, but, man, you have done your part to put your team, the offense specifically, in great field position. Uh, You're fast, I mean, really fast, and you can find the openings where they are. (laughs) Special teams is such an overlooked aspect of this game. Have you kind of seen that as maybe where you could find your niche? At first, I was more of a... I need to make plays on offense. I need to make play on offense. But people tend to forget the game is three phases and special teams is one of them. A game could be won or lost on special teams. So I just try to make plays any any type of way. And it seems like, you know, I can make them on special teams. So if that's what I have to do to, you know, put my team in a position to win or, you know, just help, I'm willing to do it. And without the other seven guys, you know, on that special team unit with me, none of it would be possible. What's the one thing, if you had to name one thing, that has um, been the Achilles heel for this team as far as what's been the difference from having a losing record, wins and losses, to a winning one? I would say mental mistakes, the small things. You know, like sometimes, you know, I wouldn't say too I wouldn't say too passionate, but we make the, we make the bonehead plays, you know, whether it's personal fouls, whether it's, you know, not getting the snap to the quarterback, you know, when we get down, sometimes, you know, our morale goes down and we, instead of, you know, staying into the game and, you know, keep on fighting, we just let those mistakes, you know, just tear our whole mentality down. So that's one thing I would say is big, you know, but if we could just overcome those things, we're dangerous. Yeah, you are a very dangerous team, and you guys will make that long trip to Wichita. I think uh, they're all long trips going to Wyoming, and for you guys, they're all long trips when you play on the road. But, you know, yeah. it, it's um, it's – each schedule is unique in its own way, and obviously you guys just played Wichita a couple of weeks ago. We're able to get that win um, specifically because of uh, your guys' performance on special teams, not just kick returns, but also a uh, field goal block in the end zone. So you guys know how to take advantage of the opportunities presented to you, but uh, at the same time, time uh, Wichita was able to finally get a win over their rival in Dodge City this last week so they're riding that high note knowing that they can get it done in close games as well so for you guys to go on the road to play a team knowing that if you win you're you're right there on the bubble for that fourth seed I mean what's the uh, mentality in the locker room before you guys make this trip at this point win or go home you know we got to leave it all out there ain't no saving anything in the tank you know if you want to go out there and if you want to make the playoffs and you want to make plays, now's the time. Ain't got nothing to say. You don't, there's no reason to. For you guys as an expansion team, what would it mean to get a playoff berth this first year? It'll be big, you know, for us to be an expansion team to start off on the right foot, you know, to be able to get in the postseason, to feel how that postseason games feel, you know, and it's a great way to start. You know, not a lot of teams, you know, get into the postseason being a first year team last question for you i'm sure you're probably thinking special teams but all in all what's it going to take to get the w this weekend just everybody to come together you know as a team um offensively defensively a score of course special teams but we just got to make plays make plays you know be fundamentally sound and everything else is going to take care of itself you know we watch film so we'll be all right Well, I certainly hope so, and I want to wish you guys the best of luck. But most importantly, I want to thank you for your time here today, Rashad. But thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. One more time, fans. He is a rocket Rashad Ridley. Blink and you miss him, and it's not rocket science. He's just really, really fast. So you guys can look forward to seeing him take on the Wichita Force this Monday night. Hey, best of luck again and safe travels. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, CIF fans, next up, representing the home team, he is the new quarterback for the Wichita Force. It is Ed Crouch. Welcome, Ed. How you doing? I'm doing great. How's everything? Doing well, man. Um, it is uh, the more exciting time of the regular season as we get into this home stretch. Everybody's kind of in control of their own destiny, and you guys, Wichita, man, I tell you, one week, it's, uh, well... There's always next week, and then another. It's like, man, who can beat this team? Because you guys are just, I don't know, still trying to find your identity. How would you sum up the Wichita Force right now going into week 13? Right now, 
as a whole, we just all in. Like we got chemistry. Our chemistry got stronger. Everybody focused now. Everybody believing in the process, and the, they just believe we're gonna go to the playoffs. Everybody want to win. So every day in practice, our tempo just a hundred at all times. We kind of we kind of practice prepare. Everybody focus. Everybody locked in. Everybody know their assignment. Well, I tell you what, you're certainly rolling. I saw the highlights from the Dodge City game, and that's a team that you guys are all too familiar with. You played them. Uh, that was the third game of this season. Finally got the win over them after a couple very close contests. I mean, as a personal accomplishment, where does that rank for you? Able to get a win over a rival finally in the regular season. I mean, that was a big. That was a big game for us. I always keep that game in mind. It was a high tempo game. I mean, that's the best I feel like we play as a team. You guys are tied with Dodge City right now at three and five. Obviously, they've won two out of three against you guys, so they do kind of hold that tiebreaker. But they are going to have uh, you know a game of their own this weekend. So if they were to lose and you guys were to win, it would very much be a win and end for you guys uh, going into that last game of the regular season. So you got to get it done against the Wyoming Mustangs, which you guys went and visited them, and it's it was a long trip. It's a long trip for anybody, but now they get to have that same long trip coming to visit you guys. How do you feel going into this matchup? I feel great. I feel I'm confident. I feel like the team is confident. I feel like everybody is prepared for what's coming up for us next. Um, this week, you know, we went up there and lost, but everybody, like, just bounce back after that week and everybody just been on the same page so we focused and going into Wyoming coming off a Dodge City win everybody everybody healthy right now we looking good you guys do have a great receiving core Uh, I've seen the highlights week in and week out Um, Jordan Payne uh, seems to be like Mr. Reliable and then on the other side, you guys got some great DBs. I had the pleasure of speaking with uh, Juju Offre, and um, he's just a man that you don't want to throw at. What's it like playing against him in practice? He's very smart. I'll tell you that. He's very smart, and he's very his IQ in football is very high. Well, it sounds like it's a great test for you as uh, the new starting quarterback for the Wichita Force. And like I said, you guys... You know, you might be tied with Dodge City right now. Dodge City will play the Omaha Beef on the road this weekend. You guys are at home against Wyoming. So, last question for you, Ed. What's it going to take for you guys to get the W this weekend? We all just stay together. When things go go wrong, we stick together. We stay positive. If we all just key in into what we have to do, know our assignments, then everything should go as it's planned, and it should go the way we want it to go our way. In a perfect world, of course, everything you want to go according to plan goes according to plan. So, but thankfully, they've got a guy like you that can improvise if uh, things tend to break down behind the line. But, uh, man, a lot of fun to watch you out there um, playing quarterback for the Wichita Force. So I thank you very much for your time, and I wish you the best of luck this weekend. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. It was nice being on the show. All right, fans, once again, he is the quarterback for the Wichita Forest, Ed Crouch, leading his team against the Wyoming Mustangs this Monday night. You take care of yourself, Ed. And one more big thank you to Rashad Ridley and Ed Crouch for joining me on this edition of the Game of the Week preview. It should make for a great Monday night matchup. That's right, schedule change in case you did not know. That game between the Wyoming Mustangs and Wichita Force will be happening Monday, June 21st. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Central Time. If you cannot attend, you can watch it live on the CIF Network channel on YouTube.com. That also goes for our other contests, both happening Saturday as the Sioux City Bandits visit the Salina Liberty, and then the Dodge City Law are taking on the Omaha Beef in a very important matchup. Really, all three are very important for all six teams. Those are, again, Saturday. Kickoff for both is at 630. And if you can't make it, watch it live, CIF Network on YouTube.com. Who will be the game of the week for the final week of the regular season? You'll just have to tune in and find out. Until then, I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF.